Hello, welcome to our kindergarten math target sneak peek of the ninth, fourth nine weeks. These are the skills we will be teaching from March 7th to May 25th. We appreciate all the support you can give at home by reinforcing these skills that were being taught in the classroom. We'll begin with the math skills that are being taught for the fourth nine weeks. I can count to 100 by one, starting at one. A good idea to practice at home is to practice with a 100s chart. Have your child point to the number and count until they are confident and can do this on their own. The next target, I can count by one, starting at any given number. You may start at say 79 and have them count from 79 and continue counting to 100. I can count backwards from 10 to one I can count by fives to 50 or continue to 100. I can count by tens to 50 or continue to 100. 100 is the learning target for the fourth nine weeks and to master the skill for kindergarten. All counting needs to be done independently without assistance. If your child skips say the number 14, then they are not considered being able to count to 100. They need to be sure that they don't skip any numbers and don't have any outside assistance when counting. The next target says, I know that when counting, each number is one more than the number before. I know that number five is one more than four. To practice this in the classroom, we use number paths. I can represent addition word problems within 10 in a variety of ways. And these, this nine weeks, will include word problems. We will give them a situation. They'll be able to use objects, drawings, or act it out and need to be able to write equations to show the number sentence. I can also represent subtraction word problems within 10 in a variety of ways, and they can use the same strategies for that as well. The next learning target, I can break apart a number up to 19 into a 10 and some more ones. We can do this in more than one way and write it as an equation. So example, if the number is 17, they say 17 is a group of 10 and seven extra ones. For the number 19, they could write that as 10 plus nine and be able to fill in a number bond and an equation. Also in math, we can recognize all numbers zero to 20 and we can count objects and write the corresponding number. If you have 19 clouds, your child should be able to count the clouds and write the number 19 to go with it. And our final math target says, I can find the number that makes 10 with any given number. If I have six cupcakes, your child would need to know that they would need four more to have 10. In the classroom, we use a 10 frame to help with give them a visualization of this. They would need to be able to write six plus whatever number, or in this case, four, equals 10. Our kindergarten reading learning targets for the fourth nine weeks are as follows. I can read a text to research a subject. I can make notes from my research. I can describe using ideas from the text. I can explain using evidence from research and observations. I can share my observations and questions on a new topic and I can determine the main idea of the text. You can help with this at home by reading books with your child and asking them questions as you read. Who are the characters in the story? Where is the setting? What are the main ideas? And what are some details that happened in the story? This can be done in English or the student's home language. All of these targets are completed with teacher support in class. I can participate in a discussion using our shared notes. We can contribute ideas to a piece of shared writing about the focus statement, detailed sentences, and concluding statement. We can write a focus statement with support, give detailed sentences also with support, and a concluding statement to give information. I can show what I know about trees through writing and pictures. 
I can read my writing aloud using a strong and clear voice. We're continuing to identify the name and sound for the letters SH, TH, and CH. We can break apart a word into individual phonemes. For example, the word cat, you could break that apart as k -a -t. Same thing for dog, d -a -g. I can identify a name, all the names and sounds for all consonants and all vowel sounds, including the short and long vowel sounds. I can read decodable text, words that I know, sight words, and words that I can sound out. And these, this would be an example of what a grade level text would look like. The student would be able to read, can you see the dog? And I can hop. Can you see and the would be sight words and they would be able to sound out the decodable word dog. I can retell events from a story and use the text to answer questions. Practice by reading stories at home with your child and having them retell the stories in their own words. I can read and spell words with the letters and consonants I know. So if they have a CVC word, which is a consonant vowel consonant, they can sound those words out in their head, stretch them out, and then know what letter corresponds to the sound they hear in the words. Examples of these would be cat, dig, bud, nap, and ten. Finally, we can identify and recite all of our sight words. There are around 40 of these for kindergarten, and I believe all teachers have sent home stacks of flashcards to practice with at home with your child. Your child can identify the middle sound in a CVC word. For example, if the word is mop, they would be able to tell you that the middle sound is ah. And the final target for this nine weeks, they will be able to add or substitute individual sounds to make new words. They would change the word mop. They would substitute the M for a T and now the word is top. We thank you for watching this sneak peek at the nine weeks and we welcome any support that you can give to us and to your children. And if you have any questions about anything you've seen or need some clarification, feel free to contact your child's classroom teacher. Thank you and have a good day.